Hey everyone, today we're making a super delicious recipe, chips and salsa. The ingredients needed are one third of a clove of garlic, one third of an onion, one fourth tablespoon of salt, three branches of cilantro, two tomatoes, two jalapenos, four serranos peppers, water, tortillas, and canola oil. But before we do anything, let's make sure to wash our hands. First step is to make our salsa. Start out by washing your vegetables so dirt and bacteria are not transfer when cooking. Dry your produce to further reduce bacteria as advised by the FDA. Heat your flat griddle to medium heat and place your ingredients. Allow for one side of roast for about 10 minutes and flip them to the other side to finish roasting. After 30 minutes of cooking, place your ingredients in your blender, add your salt and your water, and blend. Pour your delicious salsa into a container and put it on the side. Now let's make our tortilla chips. We will be using corn tortillas to make our chips. Grab about 5 tortillas and cut them in 4 to make triangle shapes. Now heat up your frying pan and pour your canola oil. Canola oil is a great choice when frying food because it can reach high temperatures without smoking. The smoking point of canola oil is 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Once your oil has reached 350 degrees, pour your tortillas into the pan. Distribute distribute them evenly make sure the temperature stays constant throughout the frying process the methods of heat transfer are conduction and convection conduction is when the heat is transferred from the stove to the pan to the food convection is when heat transfers through the currents of liquid which in our case is our oil flip your tortilla chips after two minutes when you see the golden color this shows we're almost done cooking thanks to the malleur reaction we are able to have golden food making it a lot more appetizing the Mellon reaction is a reaction between the mixture of sugar and amino acids. This gives the tortilla chips its golden color. Once your chips are perfectly cooked, place them on a napkin to get rid of excess oil and allow them to cool off. After a few minutes, pour some salsa in a container and place your chips on a plate and enjoy with friends. Lastly, refrigerate salsa within two hours of cooking and wrap leftover chips in an airtight packaging. This will help retain moisture and crispiness. I hope you enjoy!